Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of APTV. Of course, I am Aaliyah Parker. And as you can see by the title of that video, this video, I am doing a makeup tutorial. So many people have asked me to do a tutorial, so I'm finally gonna do it. I do wanna say as a disclaimer, this is not the end all be all when it comes to makeup. Everyone has different techniques and everyone has different methods to how they put on makeup. This is what works for me. Now, of course, you can take on any techniques that I may do and they may work for you. But what I'm saying is do what feels comfortable to you. This is what works for me. And this is how I do my everyday kind of outing look. So I hope you guys enjoy. I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Remember, I upload every Thursday. So turn on your post notifications. Comment down below how well I did. Let me know of anything I need to change, any other tutorials that you guys want me to do. So I hope you guys like it. So let's hop into this video. All right, y'all, so how do I start my makeup? I always wanna start with a clean canvas, so to speak. So with anything kind of like with a regular painting, you're gonna start with a blank canvas. So what I like to do, I like to use a makeup wipe to clean off my face, to make sure there's no like dirt or any makeup from the day before not on there. So I wipe off my face with a good makeup wipe. Just to make sure I don't miss anything. And make sure that I'm starting on a very clean face. Once I'm finished with that, I like to start with my eyebrows. Now, some people like to go straight into doing the foundation and everything like that, but for me, I like to have my, my eyebrows ready first. So I'll do my eyebrows first and try to show you guys how I do it. The products that I use, if I can find it. Another thing about makeup, it's easiest if you have everything laid out. So, the products I like to use would be the NYX brow pencil. Now, some people use, um, I don't want to call it paint, but it almost looks like paint. They use that, but I don't have really good control over that, so I like to use a pencil because I can hold it and I can control how I do my arch and everything like that. So. First thing I like to do, I like to use a spoolie. And a spoolie is this to brush my eyebrows up. And just like a upward motion. And then I start following the shape of my eyebrows. Some people's shape might be more geometric. Some people's shape might be more, you know, organic, round and everything like that. It just depends on the day. Sometimes I make it more sharp and sometimes I make it more round. It just depends or it just depends on how well I do it. Like each day, it can sometimes be hit or miss. So I'm gonna hope this time it's gonna be a hit. So let's get into it. So I like to start at the end of my eyebrow. Work my way up. And then I come down to where my eyebrows end. Now you don't want to end up going too far down because you don't make your eyebrows look super, super long. You want to make them as natural as possible and fill it in at the bottom. Some people like to really darken their eyebrows. Again, with me, it depends on the day. Sometimes I like how the darkness looks and sometimes I like how the natural looks. So, but today I'm just gonna do a simple Fill it in. I'm gonna need to get my eyebrows threaded. Because I look a little bushy. I don't wanna complain because I am blessed with bushy eyebrows. So you just kind of follow the shape. Oh, drop this off on the floor. So you kind of just follow the shape of the eyebrow. Put it in as deeply or dark as you want. Surprisingly, you guys, when I first started doing my eyebrows, I was so scared because, uh, you know, sometimes eyebrows can turn out really crazy. Some people's eyebrows don't match or one is higher than the other or whatever. But to me, eyebrows is the easiest part of the makeup. Cause you're just following the shape of your eyebrow and then you just use concealer to 
get any of parts that you may have missed or messed up. Get out the top. Now I'm gonna do the other side. This helps move the eyebrow head out the way. So when you are outlining, you can see where your eyebrows begin. So we're just outlining. Sometimes if I can't really see, I like to get a mirror, a hand mirror, to really make sure I'm getting everything right. And about makeup, just take your time. Don't be in no rush, because then that's when you make mistakes. So just take your time. Be patient with yourself. You're, you're, just, you're not gonna get off with the first try. If you're, this is your first time doing it. Trust me, I was never this good with makeup. I'm actually like very surprised at how well I've gotten, but I was not this good. Like I used to be good who just wear mascara and lip gloss and I will go on by my way. But now I like to do a little something extra. I honestly owe it to my my roommate, Aisha. She'll probably be in some videos later on. I used to watch her put on her makeup and then, you know, eventually you just get tired of asking somebody else to do something for you. So you start learning for yourself. You definitely got me interested. Definitely taught me some things, so shout out to you, Aisha. She was on the last video. So as I'm, like I said, as I'm doing my makeup, I'm gonna answer some questions. First question that I missed was, do I want a family? Um, I come from a big family. I'm actually one of six kids. So I'm used to being around a big group of fam and siblings. And at one point, if you can believe it, I actually wanted um, 12 kids. I don't know what I was thinking y'all, but I did want 12 kids. I think it's because after I saw the Cheaper by the Dozen movie, I just thought that would be so cool to have 12 kids. And of course, as I got older, I realized how much of a responsibility it is to have kids, one kid, so to have 12, that's a lot. So, so then it went from 12 and then for the longest I wanted three boys, like three sons. And then now it's like, I'm not pressed about having a family anymore. Like if, if I get into a serious relationship and we're married and all of that, and my husband wants a child, I'll be more than happy to sit down and actually consider it. But I'm not sitting around saying, oh, I want a family, I want this and that. If it happens, it happens, great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. Because I, I adore children, but um, I don't know. I'm just not too pressed about it like I used to be. Okay, another thing you need when you're de doing your eyebrows, you need concealer. So everybody loves LA Pro Concealer. So for the top of your eyebrows, you wanna use a concealer color that's more close to your skin tone. And then for the bottom, one that's a little bit more light because you're gonna end up doing shadows. So the shadow, you want the shadow to pop more. So I'm gonna, use the I'm gonna continue to use this mirror because it's really helping me to look a little closer. So um, do I want this? Yes. You know, it's, if it turns out I'm gonna be a mother, that's, I'm happy. If not, I'm cool with that too. So then when you're doing the top concealer, you wanna follow the shape of your eyebrow. So using a concealer, you're basically cleaning up, you know, any missed marks or anything like that. You wanna clean them up to make them as crisp and precise. And the great thing I like about this is that it's like small enough for you to control. And I'm another thing you guys know me. I am frugal friend. Okay, so I shop on a budget, and these are not expensive at all. 
I might splurge every now and then on makeup, but some makeup is like, you can do a lot of the same things with a lot cheaper makeup that do, that gives you the same quality. So don't go breaking the bank trying to, you know, get the best makeup product out there. So, give me the top. And then the bottom color will be something a little bit lighter. If I can find it. Here it is. All right, what's another question? What is something you would have studied if you didn't study to be a teacher? Honestly, I think you guys, I should have been an interior designer. I say that because I actually really like decorating and people who know me, I like to change up my room a lot. Like right now, in a, probably another month or so, it's not gonna look like this. Cause I like to switch it up a lot. Um, when I had graduated college, I moved back in with my mom and I got my old room back. But at the time, my little brother was um, staying in here. So when he went to college, it was like a mixture of like my stuff and his stuff. So right now a lot of things are mixed, are not matching and that's, it's really annoying me. So pretty soon in like a month or so, this room is gonna be completely different. It's gonna be a different style and color. So, but yes, I love interior decorating. I, that's another reason why I love being in college because um, when I moved into the apartments, like all com off campus housing, you know, you get to decorate and I love moving in because I got to decorate and then after so long, like I changed the colors of my room because after I get sick, I, I get tired of like decorations very quickly. So I changed it and then when I moved again, I was able to redecorate again. So I just like, I like to switch it up because I feel like every year, you know, you have different tastes. So I like to switch it up when it comes to decorating. So yeah, I think I should have studied interior design. I think I would have really liked that, pursued that. Cause I like, you know, shopping for new furniture and things like that. Like Target and TJ Maxx has became my best friend because they have a lot of, like Target has a lot of cute stuff. Like if you guys are looking to redecorate your room, Target is the way to go. And then the other side, if you guys can see it. So interior design, definitely something I probably would have studied. Would have thought about it a little more. Sorry, when I'm doing my concealer, I get, sometimes I can get really quiet because I'm trying to concentrate. So. And another weird thing I notice when I do my makeup, sometimes I have my mouth open the entire, when I'm like doing my eyebrows. And doing my, I don't know why. It's kind of like when you do mascara when people can't help but go like this. And it's like when I'm doing my concealer, sometimes I can't help to have my mouth open. I'm just like, girl, close your mouth. Oh, I'll do the under concealer. Are you in a relationship? Currently, I am not in a relationship. I'm not in a girlfriend. I think, um, I think I am just happy with focusing on me right now. I'm not really too pressed about it. I haven't really been thinking about it. I just wanna, I'm just trying to get my, you know, career, not career, but yeah, career, but finding something, a job that I truly love doing and not something I'm just doing for the heck of it, just to pay the bills. So I'm really focusing on that and I'm really focusing on just, you know, choosing myself first and being happy. So now you're gonna blend in your concealer. Here's blend in. This is my favorite brush. I can tell I use it a lot. It's not, I need to get some more, so don't judge me. But I'm gonna blend in the concealer. Don't get too pressed about it not blending all the way because we still got to do our foundation and shadow. And once all that happens, the, um, all this will blend together. So don't worry about that. 
But no, I am not in a relationship currently. I said I'm still gonna blend it in more once I put on the foundation everything like that but you just blend it in as good as you can get it like I said it helps clean up any marks that you may have made when you're outlining your eyebrows another question what are some shows you're watching right now? Oh, I'm definitely, I've just finished Raising Kanan. Um, I love Power. I didn't really like the last season of Power and how it ended, but I loved it. So now I'm watching Raising Kanan and I'm also watching, um, uh, what's his other one? Power Book. Power Book I'm watching and I'm loving it. That stuff is crazy. It is annoying that some of y'all be doing spoiler alerts on Instagram, but I gotta stop watching it. But with me, spoiler alerts don't really ruin the show for me because I'm still surprised. So yeah, definitely I'm watching Power Book. Just finished Raising Canaan. Such a good show. Vicky can put on some good shows. Um, I don't know which girl, if you're watching um, Power Book, which girl do y'all think Tyreek should end up with? Cause he got three of them. I'm like, oh, you just like your daddy, a player. He only had two, but Tyreek got three. For me, I don't know. I like Diana. She's very sweet and smart. I just think like, she just wants her opinion to be heard. Effie's cool. She's a real like, she reminds me of like a cookie, cookie lion. Um, you know, ride or die, and then uh, Lauren. Lauren's cool, but she be letting uh, Ty Tyreek manipulate her a lot, especially with the same story of like, I've lost everybody I love, and it's like that's unfortunate, yes, but how how long are you gonna keep using that excuse that you lost every like? I don't know. It's hard to make that argument. Not in that person's shoes, but it's a good shoe. All right. So now, after I'm done doing my eyebrows, I move on to my shadow. So when doing eyeshadow, the most important thing that I had to learn when putting on your eyeshadow is you have to have multiple brushes. You using one brush is not going to really give you the look that you want. Now, if you're just doing one color, then yes, you can use just one brush. But if you want to make, you know cool creases and blends and things you need to use multiple brushes and I had to learn that because for the longest I would use the same brush for different colors and then it would come all right the color colors are mixing up so you gotta have brushes on deck so I love Morphe brushes and I love Juvia's Place brushes so these are my two favorite brushes these are the favorite brushes I use to help blend so you need to use multiple brushes when you're doing eyeshadows that would definitely help you almost forgot something else I do on my eyebrows. So when I'm doing my eyebrows, just, I like to use eye primer, eyeshadow primer. Just kind of give it that more crisp look. You don't need a lot. Like this, this, um, this is from Juvia's Place. You don't need a lot. This should last you a long time. You only literally need like, let me show you. Literally this much. That's all you need. A little bit goes a long way. So I like to make my eyebrows a little bit more crisp. And I know it may look like I'm raising my eyebrows, yes, because that helps me outline it better. Uh, what else? That's another question I had. Sorry, I'm, I'm concentrating. I 
another question. Instagram or TikTok? Ooh, <laughs> that's difficult to say. Right now, I'm really loving TikTok. Creating those little videos are so cool. They're so funny to me. And it's literally a hit or miss. Like sometimes I'll get really good views on some stuff and then some, um, I don't get that many views. So social media is, is interesting y'all, but definitely I'm starting to like TikTok a lot more. I want to learn how to use reels. People say, keep saying it's just like using TikTok, but I don't know, Instagram makes those reels a little difficult. The one thing I can say that I like about Instagram is TikTok. No matter how many followers you have on Instagram, you can go live. On TikTok, you have to have a thousand followers go live. I think that's so weird. Why does that matter? I think TikTok is done with my heart. I didn't realize um, Instagram came out in 2010. That doesn't feel that long ago. Okay. I outlined it a little bit more. I'm gonna blend it again. Sorry, y'all. Some of my gel keeps getting in my. Okay. Next question. interesting I don't know I think it would have been interesting to go to a HBCU like Howard or something because sometimes they just be looking like they have so much more fun than PWI schools but I don't know I don't know which one I would have gone to I know people always talk about like the dorms and stuff at HBCU but it's like do you go for the dorms or you go for the experience so I get what people's argument be like it's not about that so I don't know, but that's a good question. I think it definitely would have been interesting. Maybe in the, I don't know. It would have been interesting. Okay, so like I said, now I'm gonna finally gonna start my eyeshadow. We're gonna use my favorite palette that I like using, which is Juvia. This one, I love this one. Cause I love the colors. And we're just gonna do a simple look. My simple look, my simple everyday look. I use this color, I think it's called Cano, and then I use a hosey. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that, but this color. I think they blend very well together. So I'm going to use that. Again, with makeup, you don't need a lot. You don't need to go like this. You just simple. And then as I said, my techniques may be different. Some people like to pat on the shadows and people like to just wish back and forth. Just do whatever feels comfortable to you. I like to pat too, and then I don't like to blend. Or I like to go in a circle of motion like this. So, circular motion. Next question. What is my favorite makeup brand? That's a good question. Of course, you guys know I like Juvia's Place. Um, Morphe, I love Morphe. Again, I like these places because they're not too expensive and they have great pigment. And pigment, I mean, the color shows well on my skin. So 
So I like Juvia's Place and I like Morphe's. I like Huda too, Huda Beauty. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's good pigment. I like those. Um, that's pretty much it. I usually kind of stick with the same stuff. So Juvia, Morphe's, Miranda. Brand or something. I'm just blending. See, I'm not working my hand too much. I'm literally just moving the brush back and forth. Like I said, take your time. Don't rush. You know, do what feels comfortable. What is another question? Do you have any pets? I do not have any pets. I used to. It's crazy, I have had a lot of pets in my life, but it was a lot of them was during the time that I probably wouldn't remember much of it. Like, um, when I was little, little, we had two Rottweilers. One was named Sheena and one was named Shaka. And um, I remember them vaguely, um, but we did have them. And then I remember one day, somehow they like got out of the fence and one was hit by a bus, like a school bus. And then another one would, was killed by something. I don't know, but my dad had, um, no, no, no. One was hit by a bus and the other one like had ran away. Just like we never found him. And I remember my, my brother, my older brother, he was just so distraught and we like buried him in the backyard and stuff. Cause he was, um, cause if I was like four, that meant him 11. So he was very upset about his, the dogs, you know, just dying or whatever. But I don't really remember, but I kind of vaguely remember that incident. Um, and then when we got a little older, my dad got us a miniature Schnauzer, who I loved. I remember her because I was a little more, I was older at the time. And she, I don't know, it was the funniest, the weirdest thing. I don't know what it is about dogs, but it was one day my stepmom had taken her out to use the bathroom in the front yard. Typically we do it in the backyard, but we did it in the front yard. And it was raining and Fifi, or her name is Fiona, we call her Fifi. She doesn't really like the rain. So during this, so like my stepmom didn't think like she would run away and not come back. Typically she'll go out there, pee and come back. But this time, you know, she didn't. And my stepmom then got worried and was like, Fifi, Fifi, and she wasn't coming. So then they started looking for her. Then we, of course, had to reach out to the pound or whatever. And then all of a sudden the pound had called and said like, we found her body, she was hit by a car. And I'm like, I was so upset. Cause I'm like, Fifi, like that was like our first like family dog that I remember. I was, I cried when my dad told me, I was so upset. And I felt bad, my poor stepmom felt so bad. She was like, she was probably running away. I don't know what happened. And it's like, you know, who knows? But she had passed away too. And then for a while we were just like, okay, we don't need any pets. And then my mom never wanted to get any more pets. Um, so yeah, I don't have any pets. I do want more pets, but people gotta realize pets are like children. Like you're always gonna have to take care of them, train them, take them outside to use the bathroom. Like it's 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 work. Like it's like having a child. And I think sometimes people forget that. Like this is a whole living thing that you have to take care of but uh, maybe eventually I'll get a new pet. We gonna see, not anytime soon. I have to get my own plates first. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the lighter color, which is this one. I just like how the two colors blend together. I think it's called a hosey. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And again, I'm using a different brush because you need to use multiple brushes. Put that on here. 
Next question. Oh, somebody was wondering, because they said I have multiple siblings, so what number do I fall in? I'm the second oldest. So I'm the oldest girl. I'm turning 20, I turn 25. I have an older brother who's 31. Yeah, actually will be 32 next week. Um, I have older brother 31, then I'm 25. I have a sister that's 24, that's about to turn 24. Then I have a younger brother that's 20. Then another one is 19. Then I have a, an 11 year old sister. And then I have a stepsister who's 12. And a stepbrother. Like, I have a lot. It's a lot going on, but I am the second oldest. like the oldest sometimes but because you know girls are just naturally really more responsible but it's like the oldest the other side and what I like about eyeshadows Again, if you mess up, you can blend a lot of stuff and you kind of can cover up your mess ups. So you gotta make up, I guess, strive for perfection, but don't like worry if you mess up because you can always try to cover it up. And again, I was not, I didn't do this of this well when I first started. Trust me, y'all, it did not look like this. So just give it time when you're starting this. And I know how I'm sitting is a little weird. My vanity is not here yet. So I promise you when I get my vanity, things will start looking a lot better, but hopefully this will suffice. <laughs> I have to suffice for right now. What is another question? Any upcoming trips? I hope so. My family, we used to take, we usually take a trip every year together out of the country and then ever since this pandemic it just kind of has messed up our groove like we want to but then we some people get a little uncomfortable and then you know it's a requirement in a lot of places to be vaccinated and you know people don't want to feel like they're being forced to do something so it's a lot but i do plan on traveling more if it's you know continental in the states or international it's fine i can i need a trip like yesterday <laughs> i'm working a lot lately but it has paid off okay now i've done that now we're gonna use a different brush to blend a little bit and when i mean my blend just kind of blend in the colors a little bit so it doesn't look like it's Not too bad. Alright. Now, once my shadow is done, I like to do eyeliner. Again, I use a NYX product. I love using NYX. I like to use like the mark type pencil ones because I have more control than with like a paintbrush. Oh. I probably will do that one day, but like for right now, I like these better. So I just like how it looks. This one, you'll definitely need your, I like a little mirror like this so you can get up and close. And you just wanna follow the outline of your lid. And again, with eyeliner, if you mess up, don't worry. I gotta take my time and concentrate, so I might not talk that much right now, so hang on.
And we got one side done. Now I gotta do the other side. One thing about makeup, you always gotta make sure you're symmetrical on both of your sides because you don't want one looking real good and it's not looking messed up. So just take your time. Again, don't rush. Close your eyes a little bit and just go to the outline of your lid. The mess up too bad, but the thing about it is if you do mess up a liner, you can put lashes on and it kind of draws the attention away from it. So like I said, that looks good to me. Now, with lashes, I use all types of brand lashes. I do like these lashes, which I'm gonna put on today. These, I like. It's called La Flare Lashes. Love these. But I am going to wear these today because it's kind of like more of a softer look. So I'm going to put these on. Now, when I tell you I struggle with putting lashes on for the longest, again, it literally, it really, it's a cliche, but practice does make perfect. Because these things, I'll either put them on too high or they'll be like, the, the glue would never dry, so I'm end up messing up my, like, it's a lot. So it's just practice makes perfect. And then before you know it, you'll be putting these things on your sleep. Now, one thing about me, I like to clean up as I go, so I don't like to have makeup everywhere. So let me straighten up my little area one more time. Put a little bit more color on it. lashes we're gonna need these tweezers I like these because of the shape I feel like you can hold the lashes a lot better even easier so you need those delicate with your lashes and the trick with lashes when you put the glue on let the glue dry a little bit so it's like a little sticky if it's too like fresh or too moist um, you run into the thing of when you put it on your lashes and you pull your tweezers away the lashes come with it instead of sticking to your eyelid and you don't want that because that can cause more mess and you don't need a lot, just enough to like cover it. And then when you take them off, you wanna make sure you take off any excess glue, excess, excess glue. Cause lashes you can reuse. I used to just wear them once and them away. That's a big waste of money. So reuse your lashes, clean them off. There's many tutorials on YouTube of how you can clean lashes. I recommend watching those so you're not going through lashes like left and right. These things, some of them can be like $5 a pair. And imagine if you buy, you know, five pair of lashes at a time, that's $20. So you're just wasting $20 for one use. 
I don't know you lying down in here. At least look at that. Y'all are forgetting about my questions. Hang on. Put a little on there. Okay, let that dry a little bit. I like the bone a little bit. It helps if you hold it like this, so when you put it on, you can place it on top. What is another question? One more weekend. Actually, I had a question I had um, thought about earlier today. I was watching Power Book, of course, and one of the um, Teresa and Pinch, one of the main characters, he's studying conical studies, I think it's called. Basically, they it's where they're literally questioning everything. So one of the um, classes, it was like, it's free will, really free will. Like, are you making decisions yourself or is it be based on someone else's um, opinions or the environment around you? So is it really free will if you're being, um, what's the word? Not persuaded, but like, if your decisions are changing based on things you see, what people are saying. So it's like, is it really free will? Like, are you really making decisions for yourself? And I thought to myself, I'm like, that's a good question. Because we all like to believe that we're making decisions ourselves, but truth of the matter is, depending on how you grow up, the things you see, the things you experience, that's how your decisions are made. If everybody had like a cookie cutter life, then we probably would be like, you know, ooh, you know, making the simple decisions. But it's all based on, you know, what you've grown up with. So, with putting on the lashes, I need to use my mirrors because I want to see as clearly as possible. And the Lord has blessed me with some very wild lashes, so they don't lay down. Like some people now some people put on mascara first i don't i don't think that helps me i feel like that messes me up more if you do put on lashes again this is how i do it it's not necessarily how everyone does it i don't put on mascara first i like to put on this first and then i'll like to i'll use the mascara later to blend it so it's for me it's best if i start on the outside and work my way in so you really do it as close to your lash line This is why I like putting on liner, because it helps you put, um, know where to place your lashes. It's hard for me to put on lashes without liner because you can't necessarily see where you're going. It's, I guess eyeliner kind of acts as a roadmap for me. So I like to put it on there. It's not simple as I Again, I've had a lot of practice, so it makes me very simple, but Put it on there and let that sit for a minute. Not too dry. Now we're gonna put on the other one. So yeah, do you guys believe in free will? Like, is it really free will? I feel like nowadays you can question. Nowadays you can question anything. Like, do things really be the way they seem? Or do people blow things out of um, proportion? Or do the things that we take so seriously, is it really that serious? Like, I feel like you can question, you can make an argument about anything. You can be the devil's advocate for anything. And I think that's good. I think it's important that we question things that are, the things that are just, that's the way things are. No, question it. If it doesn't, if you don't agree with it, or you, you know, something doesn't make sense to you, question it. Cause me, I question it. I was definitely a curious person. I always question something. Be like, why? That doesn't make sense. And if it doesn't make sense, you know, to you, hey, somebody else may agree with you. Or you may be the only one, but that doesn't matter. You don't have, it's important that we don't all believe the same thing. Let's question authority. Question people's opinions. Don't be disrespectful about it because everybody's 
right to have your opinion, but okay, question it, challenge it. On to the other lash. Now, I'm one of those people where the first lash can go on just so easy, but the second one be giving me grief. So let's just hope this one goes as easy as the first one. And while it's still sticky, you want to move it as close as you can to your real eyelashes. And hold it there. Dry a little bit more, and I'll put my mascara on. And you can't really see the mess up on my lashes. Can you? Great thing about lashes, they cover up the mistakes. Woo! We're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna answer another question. <laughs> Do you believe in aliens? Um, hell, at this point, who knows? We probably are not the only um, beings on Earth, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if we had aliens, honestly. Like, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Another question. What is something you're afraid of? What is something I'm afraid of? Hmm. I would used to say like snakes and spiders. And what's the craziest thing y'all like, I like looking at them, but like if they're in my room, I'll get freaked out. So like if I see a little spider in my room, I'm like, what the, like, and if it disappears before I get to kill it, oh my God, I won't sleep in there. Like, you guys see that little speck in behind me over there? Right there? For so long, I kept, any, no matter how many times I look at it, I know that it, that is a nail. Anytime I come in here and I see it, I feel like a spider, but it's not. So, I'm scared of spiders, but like, if I see it, I wanna see it up close. Like, I wanna see how it looks. Like, I'm intrigued by things that kinda scare me. If that, like, like with snakes. Some snakes are like, have really cool colors, like very iridescent colors. They sh like, they kind of look really cool. And the fact that like, the most deadliest snake is not even that long and like it can kill a person within minutes. That's so intriguing to me and weird, but like, I don't like snakes. Like I wouldn't say like, I want a pet snake. I want to hold a snake. No, I'm not that person, but like, I find them interesting. I've always found animals interesting. Like, I'm that girl that would know random facts about animals. So, I don't know, it's very weird. I would say I'm scared of, but one thing I'm scared of is definitely death. I'm scared of death. I have the Peter Pan syndrome. I don't want to grow up. Um, I'm scared of death. Um, I'm scared, I, I guess I'm not scared of death. I'm scared of the unknown. Like. I believe in the heaven and stuff, but it's just like, you know, that stuff scares me. I don't like to think about it because, like, if you think about it too deeply, you're like, damn, like, this is really, you know, but 
I would say those things scared me. All right, now it's time for the foundation. This has became my favorite brush for foundation. Juvia's Place foundation brush. And my foundation, I use two different colors. Again, from Juvia's Place. <laughs> Um, one of them is, what's it called, Savannah and Havana. And I kind of like to mix them both because they kind of like, because sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I'm a warm tone or a cool tone, cool tone. So I like to mix them together. Again, you don't need a lot. Just put a little bit. Honestly, that can go a long way if you believe it or not. I just take it and I pat it. Now some people like to put primer on. Sometimes I'll do that. Sometimes I don't. Today. I'm not. It just depends. Just a little more on my brush. Do full coverage. And one thing about Juvia's Place Foundation, it goes a long way. You don't have to use a lot. That's why I'm like, I don't like makeup that you go through so quickly, that's how you know it's not good. And then if that stuff is expensive, it's like, okay, they're trying to get over it. Now it's time to do a little concealer under the eyes. Again, a little goes a long way. You don't have to put so much concealer on under your eyes. Because then you'll make yourself look a little too much brighter and you don't need all that. A little bit of a Beauty is makeup is just supposed to enhance what you already have. So, what I like to do. is put like a triangle size amount like that and down so I put a little lighter color the lighter one I use under my eyebrows Another Juvia's product. Juvia's concealer I like using. And this one's a lot brighter, so I don't use a lot. I'll just put like a little dot. Tap it in. 
Some people put their concealer on before the foundation, so under. It honestly depends on how I'm feeling. Like I said, I don't have one way of doing things. I don't think anyone should have one thing of doing things. Each day I change it up. I may put it on top, I may put it on the bottom. It's just how I feel about it. It's kind of tagging. Tap it in a little bit. Tap, tap, tap in. Bring it in a little bit. And then a little bit the wrong way. Now, I don't cont contour my nose. I, I just don't like how it looks. More power to you if you do. Maybe if when I start contouring, I'll you know, show. But I don't really contour my nose. I just kind of do that. Concealer. Like, like, Concealer really goes on the places that you want, where they say they where the sun hits. So I guess depending on how you're saying the sun will bounces off your cheeks, and then like kind of like the tip of your forehead, you can put a little concealer there. So I'm gonna do that. What's another question? I saw this on Twitter for my girls out there. It's like, what the what is the order you do things? Is it hair, makeup, then get dressed, or get dressed, makeup? And I was like, honestly, it depends on the day. I don't have one particular. I think you definitely want to put your makeup on after you get dressed sometimes, depending on what color it is too, because um, your makeup could get on the clothes. So. And lately, I've been wearing like a lot of white, and I just keep getting makeup on it. So I would say for me, I would probably, depending on the color, I would get dressed first and then put on my makeup. I usually do that. I get dressed first and then put on my makeup. But I think my friend just said, uh, no, you gotta do the hair, then the makeup. Like people start, they say start from the top and then work your way. Now I'm like, it just depends. There's so many factors. I, you can't. There's no way someone does it the exact same order every single time they get ready. So I think, depending on what you're wearing, if it's a light color, I recommend getting. Excuse me, I'm dark. This is not. Um, getting dressed first and putting on your makeup because you don't want to get your makeup on and then you have to get dressed all over again. Done with the concealer. Now, I never did bright bronzer, but GB has convinced me. The dark palette. Again, you need another brush, another Juvia's product. This is the bronzer brush. You don't need a lot. You literally just go a little bit and then. You go like uh, up motion.
this is probably the closest I'll ever come to contouring is doing this. I'm not as advanced as I like to think. And some people like to put it on the forehead. I do a little on the forehead too. used to do highlight but now I'm starting to get into it sorry I gotta tighten up a little bit I don't like this clutter powder another Juvia's Place product shout out as y'all can see if y'all ever wonder what kind of present you want to get me for my birthday or Christmas can't go doubt can't go wrong with Juvia's Place so to me I like to use powder and I like to use this type of sponge so I can control it better and you just want to get it under your eyelid like this I could be doing it wrong, but this is how I do it. This is how I do it. And keep it on the green. You can get rough. Now, as, as, as that is sitting, ooh, can't talk. I like to put on my highlighter. I like to use my fingers. Some people use a highlighter brush, but since I don't have one, I've grown to like using my finger. Kylie. Put some on like my index finger. Put some like on my nose. Cause again, highlight goes where. I think it's highlight. Yeah, it goes where like the sun is gonna hit. So I like to tap some on my cheek. Mm -hmm. 
powder is done. I'll sweep it away. Then I'll use my setting powder. When you wipe away the brush, you honestly can use any brush. I like to use powder brushes. This, you just gotta just wipe it away. Wipe it away. Make sure all the powder is gone. And highlight it to me. <laughs> then, now I like to go in with the mascara to blend in my eyes lashes with the powder eyes with the false eyelashes. Then do the bottom one. And I use telescopic. Oh, we got a mascara. My friends put me on shy to Francesca. She's like the mascara queen. I've never seen someone put on mascara so precise as her. You guys will probably eventually meet her too. But how she puts on my um, mascara is amazing. Now, I don't really do nothing special for like my lips or whatever. I'm a simple girl, like I said. Lip gloss goes a long way for me. So, but I have gotten into mixed lip glosses lately. So I put on the back. First of all, I get one. And NYX has some nice lip glosses. This is, and they smell so good. This is Ginger Snap. Really good one. Ginger Snap. And now for the finishing touches, I like to put spray um, lavender water on me, my face first. Let that sit. And then the setting spray from LA Girl. Spray. 
Put that sit. Once that sets, your girl is done. <laughs> well, y'all, that is my makeup tutorial for like my everyday look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try to put um, links to like the products I did use in the description. But this is my makeup tutorial. How did it turn out? <laughs> I'm a head ass, but I like how it turned out. Chris eyebrows and everything. Alright you guys, that brings you to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you guys think? Did it turn out okay? Please comment down below any of your thoughts or opinions about this video. Tell me what you liked, tell me what you didn't like, tell me what you hated, tell me what you loved. I want you to like, it doesn't matter, let me know about this video. As you know, I upload here every, every Thursday a new episode of APTV. I want you guys to subscribe to my channel, comment, share to your friends, share to your family. Get the word out about APTV. I love you guys and I'll catch you guys next time. Good night.